example, take leave Hinduism, right? Buddhism asks you to reflect on into yourself, find out more about yourself. But Hinduism doesn't believe there is God. Look into the universe. Tafakkaru. Think about it. Use your intellect. Understand this universe. Who created this heavens and earth except Allah? And Allah is saying to us, if there is two gods other than Allah, then each one will take what it belongs to him. And then they will fight, they will compete who's going to be ruling. All of these things to kill Darren, they cannot be more than one God. And this God has to be one and unique. And this God communicate to us through revelation to the prophets and messengers of God. Since Adam until Muhammad The gentleman here, his name is Darren. Yes. He's trying to understand, Islamic understanding of the mission. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Universal consciousness, yeah. So, is, so does Islam also do, you know, have something similar in, 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 in its baseline? Or like? I don't get it. What do you mean universal consciousness? Like, okay. Can you just explain to understand what is coming from? Uh, so, you know, uh, any religion teaches you to be a good person or a bad person, right? Okay. And, in, and when, you're, when you're good, you affect the, the people around you as well. So they are happy or like, so when you're happy, the, the whole... Area Not necessarily, by the way, because okay. you could, you might be good and people they will hate you. Yes, still, still. Okay. Yeah, do you accept it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will tell you how. <laughs> I will tell you how. Today I was I was discussing with with one person, and who believes in democracy. Yeah, he said democracy is something which is great and something. You know, other Muslim was talking about democracy. I said to him, I said I don't believe in democracy. I myself, but suppose that. Do you believe democracy is the right way to choose? He said, yes, democracy is the right way to choose. I said, if I say to you, I don't believe democracy is the right way to choose, yeah? Do you think people will accept this? People will not accept this. They will be not happy. He told me, what's your proof? I said, okay. What did the Nazis did to the Jews? Nazis, they came in a democratic way, yeah? They were elected, voted, voted for Hitler, become a leader of, of Germany, and then, he burn people. Then the Nazis they become a system. Now the question is, I say democracy is a good system. Yeah. Then in that case, that means what those people have done is good, which is I condemn that. But they said this democratic way. And democratic way as well, they categorize the people from the best, the Germanian people are the best ones, and the lowest people are the Jews, and all of these things. So they categorize the people according to race. And that's why the racism came kind of one of the original things of, our, of nowadays, our racism. So that's why, not necessarily, if you do right, people will like it. Okay, yeah, we yeah. believe the Prophet was right, and people they didn't like it. When he came to say, don't kill your daughters, because they are daughters, they are female, you just kill them alive, and bury them alive. He said, don't do this. The people, they were not happy about that. They fought him, and they tried to kill him, they killed his companion. They did the, their best to stop that. So not necessarily if you do right, people will write it. Okay, and let me rephrase it in a different way then. So okay. what, what I'm trying to get to is like one person's actions or one person's, uh, uh, you know, uh, thoughts affect, so in certain situations affects the other person. Okay. Uh, so I, I doing something wrong will come back to me in some, you know, or will affect karma. other karma or, uh, no, I'm not getting karma, it's more like, you know, um, <coughs> you know, more around like when, when you're thinking, you're an inner particular mindset and that affects the other people around you as well. When you're positive, okay. when you're positive. Be okay, let me, let me, I will, I will give you a counter example, then you will know. You said, if you think in the wrong way or if you did something wrong, that affects the other, but it will come back to you. Is that what you say? Come back to you? Do you believe it come back to you? No, in the sense, if you do something bad, that, that will affect the other person, but it will also be, you know, it will stick around with you for a long time because you're always in a negative mindset, thinking about it. But if you're in a positive mindset, that again will kind of like enforce positive people effect around. on the people around you and you, it will in turn bring more positivity to you. Is I will tell you, our Prophet said, means think good about the things you will find. This kind of positive thinking would say, imagination. Huh? Imagination. not imagination, to have the fa'alu means think good about the thing that you will find it. For example, I, if I'm walking here and I saw a brother, his name is, uh, uh, for example, uh, his name is 
عبد الحميد طبعا حميد از جود نيم اند انا شو عبد الحميد ما شاء الله كثير جود ون ذيس برادر محمد يا ذات سمثينغ اور بروفيسور هي هاز براكتس ذيس ان هيز تايم يا تو ثينك جود اباوت ذا ثينغ يا سو ذات سمثينغ اتس جود اي ويل سي تو يو اتس جود ات كود هاف امباكت اون يو از ا بيرسون ذات فاين بات نوت نيسيرلي ات ويل ديكتيت ذا ديستني اوف الله عز وجل Yeah, there is a destiny that Allah has planned things that happen in this universe, yeah, which you have no choice for it. You have no choice at all for it. For example, did you choose your color? Did you choose your father? Did you choose your mother? Did you choose your neighbor? You didn't choose many things in your life. So how, if you didn't choose many things, but those things, they have impact on you. Your mother has impact on you. They have influence on you. Your father, the people, those things, which means again, So there are things which is the destiny of Allah or the destiny of the Creator of the universe and earth that will come to you eventually. Yeah? That's why for you, that's why for us as Muslims, what we believe, we believe the qadr of Allah, the good and the bad. When it's good, we are thankful to Allah. And if it's bad, we are patient and asking Allah to help us. This is how the believer deals with these things. Yeah? But not necessarily that you, with your mindset, you will change things in the universe. Not necessarily, it's not the same thing. Yeah? Because you, can, you cannot change things about yourself, your own thing, let alone the universe. You cannot change it in yourself. Yeah? Things, you cannot prevent the death comes to you, you cannot do it. You will die one day, I will die one day, I will die one day. You cannot change this, that's a fact. Yeah? Okay, we, uh, we, all this came from the, uh, you know, the discussion about consciousness. So, you know, cloning, like for example, take cloning. When you clone someone, you can clone the, the person to the same degree, like, you know, they can look like and everything. But what they what their past is, what they remember, will they remember that? Is, are they the true <coughs> person of themselves, you know? Where is that stored? Like, you know, consciousness, you know? What does Islam say about consciousness? Conscious is really what I'm trying to Now, now basically Islam, that we have something that Allah has planted in us is something called fitrah, natural disposition. That Allah has created us in the things that we know generally what is right, what is wrong, and but as well we need kind of guidance to, to accept the right and the wrong. So there are things in our nature, we know what is the, the purpose of our life, we are created, we are creation of God, and we are here to serve that purpose. That one of the things. We were born on this. This is what we believe as Muslims. Now, but our parents or the community and the culture and all of these things, they change this, they redirect this, and instead of going to, to, to the right direction, it will be going in the wrong direction. This is what generally happens overall. But now here, and this is what I believe, this is what the conscience of the person is what we call it. If you, if you did something wrong, at least you know you have done something wrong, I shouldn't do it. I wish I have changed or I wish in the future to do something better. This is what is it. But to say that this consciousness that have kind of future influence, you cannot say that. You cannot control it. And that's why Allah said in the Quran that if, يعني, that no one can put Allah said about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, قُلْ إِلَّا لَيْنْ جِرِنَ مِنَ اللَّهِ أَحَدُ وَلَا لَأَجْدَ مِنْ دُونِهِ مُلْتَحَدَ No one can protect you from Allah. And I cannot hide myself from him. Yeah? Meaning, The all what Allah destined to us, we cannot, you cannot protect yourself from it. You cannot protect yourself from, you know, a car crash just outside the, the, the speaker corner. You can't protect yourself. You don't know what will happen. These are things that we decide. But in the same time, always we as Muslims, we always think good. Whatever happens to you is for a best, for the best. If something bad, maybe Allah will replace you with something better. If it's good, that Allah will promise you something maybe better. And all of this, that's how, that's how the Muslims, we believe. And that's why I advise you and then I, I invite you to Islam. Are you Muslim? Uh, no. Okay. What are you doing for what you do? Uh, I'm Hindu by birth, but I believe in, I believe in, you know, I don't believe in one particular religion. I kind of like do you believe in God, the existence of God, there is, there, God, yeah, okay. there is the existence of some supernatural. Okay. You know, I believe is, this, in, is this some super? Is it one or or many or how is it? That I mean, yeah, I, I I think it's just one. But just one. Know, people put different forms to it. No, in Hinduism they have many. Many. Actually, yeah, but yeah. actually, do you believe in one? That's yeah, I, one. I believe in one one supernatural power. But okay. It's more around like you know, my ideology comes from the fact that I don't believe in any particular religion. I think the. I, I I do appreciate. Now here, why do you, why you don't believe in a particular religion? At the end of the day, you know, all all religion teaches you to be a good person, and if you if you can do it yourself. Not necessarily. Like, 
No, I know, I understand that you know, not everyone can do it themselves, and that's why there's some someone needs to, you know, have you guide you, like you know, and, and, okay. and lead you along the path. But that's what religion is for, is my understanding. Okay, let me tell you, there is one purpose of the Allah has created us. That's what we say. We say Allah has created us to appreciate Him, to worship Him, to uh, to to, ab uh, to appreciate our creation that we, that He created us and as well to worship him, yeah? which means to submit our will to his will. Allah means the one God, as you said, the one, if you believe you, there, there's a one, one God, as you said, that's the one God, the creator of the heavens and earth. Now, if someone come to me, yeah, if someone, if someone came to me and told me, you know, in some particular faith or particular religion, okay, be good, be just, be this, be that, and at the same time telling me to worship other than God, to worship this person, another person, another guy, different things. This, it doesn't teach me the right thing, it teaches me the wrong thing. Instead of directing my worship towards the one God, the creator of the heavens and earth, it will be directed to other than God. And that's wrong, even though, even though it is something nice, it looks nice, for example, be, being good, be truthful, you know, uh, abstain myself from the matters of the life and just only thinking about, you know, to be uh, uh, content in whatever, whatever God gives me. That's nice, all of them is nice, but this is not the purpose. The purpose of your creation, my creation, is to submit to the will of your creator. So since this supernatural, as you said, does it have a will? Yeah, you know, I, 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 I don't know, you know, what, what my will is, and that's not like you, the, the, this supernatural power, does it have a will? Yeah, so it has a will. So is it all-knowing? Does it know everything? Yeah, my, uh, my understanding is it should. Yeah. Is it all-powerful? And it has a will? This God, why we call it supernatural? It's God, the one God. As you said, this is the one God. Now the question is, you said you don't want to believe in any particular faith, yes? Did you study Islam? Did you learn about Islam? Did you know what Islam is about and all these things? No, no, no. But I'm, you know, I'm constantly trying to, you know, understand it. Okay. But I, I wouldn't say I'm not, you know, I haven't read it. So if I explain to you Islam, and if it makes sense to you, will you accept to be Muslim? To, to be a Muslim, you mean to if, follow the preaching? Hold on, hold on. Following it and living it is different, right? I will come, I will come to the point to follow it or living it. I'm okay. asking you, if I explain to you what this Islam is about, and if it makes sense to you. Yeah, and it, uh, most of the things I, I hold make on, sense. Hold on a second. Uh, but if it makes sense to you as a concept of Islam, will you become Muslim? Converting to it, I, I, that's the thing, right? Making making a choice to live in, live in that part. Is, is something then that that is where you have you studied you stu did you study logic before yeah okay good so so if you study logic if something makes sense to me if i am as a person something makes sense to me and something is right i know it's right if i don't follow it do you think this is right no good so if it makes sense to you and if it's right Will you accept to be Muslim? Simple as that. That's what you mean. But you, uh, you don't need to be addressed as a Muslim. You don't as for my Let's point. Let's address. I'm not talking about how you address. I'm talking about to accept this concept. Yeah? Huh? My acceptance. Yeah, but so let me put it this way, right? So I was born a Hindu. But all my school I've been living in, I've been following in, I've been in a Christian school. Yeah, I know. And I, I've been like, you know, uh, taught the Bible. And I, and I agree to certain bits of it. But, you know, what, what, what does it mean to me at this time? I'm following something. What I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm talking about things. I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, that it makes sense to you. Yeah. And it is, the, it is right. And I believe in God. God. Don't say I never it tell makes you. sense to you. And you think it's right. So it is logically, why not to follow it? Simple like that. That's why, not necessarily where you're born Hindu, you study where. It, it, what it means, there are many converts who came to Islam, many people came to Islam. Because they found it makes sense, because they found it's the right thing, it's the right decision to take. Yeah, and that's why, that's my point. So always don't say, I will not do it. But maybe if it, if it makes sense, you can follow not? the teachings, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, okay. right? Now let's, let's talk about Islam now. Islam, you, you, me and you, now we agree there is one creator, yeah? Of the heavens and earth. The God, the one God, 
He is the creator of the heavens and earth, yes? Yeah. This is the first concept of Islam. Second concept of Islam, to believe that Muhammad وسلم, is the final messenger of God. The last and the last messenger of God. Okay, let me prove this guy. Okay. So to believe that the Prophet وسلم, is the last and the final messenger of God, yeah? That's funny. Okay. okay. <coughs> to believe that the Prophet is the last and the final message of God. Now, this, this is how this is our challenge. Did you now the proof that the Prophet is the last messenger, is the messenger of God, that he is the last and final messenger of God? Is what is how what's the proof? How how can I prove to you? That he is, a, he is a messenger came from God. This is, this is my challenge, yeah? Which I need to prove to you now. Now, Muhammad he was sent 1400 years ago in the Arab Peninsula. He was an Arab man, illiterate, wasn't able to read and write. He didn't have access to the science of his time and the knowledge of his time. Simple man amongst the people of Quraysh at the same time came one of the best tribes of Quraysh. Now, this Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was, that he came at the age of 40, God revealed to him something. God revealed to him revelation. Because since God created us, yeah, this is the concept. Since God created us here, what are we doing here? What's the purpose of our life? So I will say, I suggested in the beginning, I said, the purpose of our creation is to submit to this God, to follow his guidance, simple as that. Yeah. But how we know that God is telling us to do this? And how we know what we are doing is the right thing. This is what we need to this is what the Quran answers. Yeah. Now, you say, but, but the book of Quran, why I need to believe in it? Yeah. So I will say to you, the proof that the Prophet وسلم, is a prophet and messenger of God is the Quran, which he was sent with. Quran came in the Arabic language. Revelation from God in a poetic way. Yeah? Meaning that it was the way that it is, the structure of the Quran was so strong, so beautiful, to the extent it was challenged. Yeah. So how we know that the Prophet وسلم, was a Prophet of the Lord and this is the, as to do the challenge. Now, when Allah Azzawajal has revealed the Quran from the Prophet yes, yeah, and it was so miraculous to the Arabs, to the extent when they hear the Quran, they said, this cannot be said by human beings. This cannot be said by human beings. The Arabic language by itself, the way that it's structured, and Quran didn't come to, you know, random people, came to people of the language. They used to hang, you know, Kaaba, Mecca nowadays? They used to hang the best poets, so the best poetry, yeah, which is done by the best poets, they used to hang them on Kaaba to say these are the best what the Arabs have said. They used to challenge with this, the language. Now, Quran came and Quran start challenging them, saying to them, if you are in doubt of what's been revealed to the Prophet, then produce something similar to the Quran. Bring something. You can't then produce one chapter, just one chapter, the smallest chapter of Quran, three lines, produce one chapter. And not just you, you, and get your helpers, get everyone around you, get together and do it. The Quraysh at that time, there is some narration by the way, they used to, they used to famous in, you know, the, the food of the Arab by the way is meat, they used to eat meat, yeah, hello. And they used to drink wine. And they used to think, if you eat meat for certain periods of time, just only meat, and drink wine for certain periods of time, then you're gonna have your brain cells gonna work in the best way. Then they're gonna say the best, the best poetry. Yeah. So they stayed for 40 days. The best poets on earth. They were, they were drink, eating only meat for 40 days. Because now nowadays meat is have B12 and other. So they were only eating meat and they were drinking wine for 40 days to, to get to the challenge of the Prophet sallam. All of them they get together and they couldn't produce the Quran. Just only the language, we're not talking about, we're talking about just only the language, by itself. The language itself is so sophisticated to the extent that those Arabs, the people of the language, you couldn't say. But what's your name, by the way? Darren. Darren. 
But how, after 1400 years, someone like me, who understand the Quran at least, will explain to Darren that the Quran is a miracle from Allah. How can I explain to you? You don't know the Arabic language. You cannot appreciate the value of, of the language. But how do you know what what's the Quran is talking about? But Darren, he studied some science. He appreciated the science. He's a logic man. He accepts logic arguments. This is, the, this is the point here. And that's why we come to Darren. We talk to him in the same logical way as that as Darren understand. Now, Quran came 1400 years ago, yes? Historically, proven that Muhammad was a little man. Yeah? Not just, not just a little man. Yeah? Not just a little man. And he was as well? Yeah? Okay. Okay. And he was not just a little man. He was not, he didn't have access, he, was, he didn't have books, he didn't know what, what, how to read even books. So when, when the Quran is talking about things only discovered in the, newly, only recently in the science, that's, it will make sure you know what, hold on a second, let me pause a bit, let me, what's this, what's this challenge? Now, Allah said in the Quran, I will give you one example, let me give you an example, one example. What do you think about what, what is the maximum level of the people 1400 years ago about the cosmology? Tell me. What is the understanding of the people 1400 years ago about the cosmology, cosmos, about the universe? What do they think about the stars, the moon, and all? What, how do they think about it? Yes. Do you think they have enough knowledge about it? I think the Egyptians, they, they, they align them, you know, the pyramids, everything. Is that, we didn't know about Yeah, they talk about, that, yeah. They, talk about, they talk about direction. Okay. Yeah, direction, that's all. They, but, listen to this. God said in the Quran, for example, listen, that's one, one verse. And for you to know the Quran, when Allah is making an oath by something in the Quran to show this something is great. So Allah said in the Quran, Allah said in the Quran, I will not make an oath by the positions of the stars. And it is a great oath, but you are not yet aware of that. So Allah is addressing to the Arabs, saying to them that there is something great about the position of these stars. But you are not yet ready to know this. You are not yet aware of that. The Arabs at that time, they said, position of the star, direction here and there, which is true, that it means this. And it means after 1400 years, when the, when the new science came, when they start discovering the cosmology, the cosmos, and when they start looking to the stars, and then when they knew that the universe is expanding, when they knew that these stars are millions of years away from us, and when the light departs from the stars, it takes millions of years in the space to come to our eyes. This after millions of years, what happened to that star? It is not there anymore. It's changed. Maybe it died. It came to black hole. Anything. Who taught Muhammad 1400 years ago? About what you see there is the position of the stars. It's not the star itself. Tell me. No answer to that. We said you believe in God. God, yeah? Okay, good. Next, next thing. But it could be his own reasoning as well, right? Okay, maybe. But he didn't say it's my reasoning. Yeah? Okay. If he said, if he'd say, what is, it's better for him to claim he's the God. He said, oh, it's my, it's me. Just no, 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 I understand. But, but he said, not me. In today's world, even if you have something which you, you, you know, comes to you in like a vision or something, you still say that you, I did it, right? Yeah, you say, I did it. You will not say someone did it for me. Yeah. He said, it's not me. That's why I said, this is not me, that's Allah, that Allah revealed to me. There's another one. What do you think the people 1400 years ago, what, did, what do they know about the ocean and deep inside the bottom of the ocean and all of these things? What do you think they know about it? Tell me. What is the, the deepest point any diver could die 1400 years ago? Maybe 20, whatever, whatever book you can take, yeah? And listen to this, yeah? So God said in the Quran, those who doesn't follow the guidance of Allah, they don't follow the guidance of God. They are like, like someone who's deep in the bottom of the ocean. Above him there is a wave. 
Above the wave, there, there, there is another wave. Above the sea, there is a cloud. Even if he took his hand out of his pocket, he will be not able to see. It is darkness after darkness. So God is describing certain type of darkness. Yeah? Now, when the sunlight comes, now we discover this. When the sunlight comes, and if it's cloudy with us, 40% of the light will be rejected. Back. That's why only 60% will go through, more or less. When it comes to the sea, if there is wave, waves on the surface of the sea, the waves break the light. Yeah? Then only half of that, or maybe more or less, will go through. And the remaining will be reflected, will be, break, will, will be break, broken. Now, the people at that time, they used to see the, the waves on the surface of the sea. They never saw there is another wave deep in the ocean, which they call it the sea currents. They go in a different direction. You see the waves as it comes here? The sea currents goes in another direction. So another waves go travel in the waves as well, as a sea current, and it breaks the light again, which is if there is any remain of the light is breaking again in the, in that uh, you know in that in the sea current, and if there is any remain of the light deep in the bottom of the ocean there will be no, and that's why they find creatures that they survive with no light, so that's why even if you took your hand out of your pocket and put it in the front of you, you will be not able to see. The eye cannot see by itself, it needs light. At the time, where people they used to think the eye could see by itself. Who taught Muhammad about this? Tell me, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tell me. By the way, Mecca is not by the sea. He wasn't even living by the sea to see, to observe all, all of these things. What do you think? Should be some, you know, some, yeah, it's hard to explain, but okay. it, it wasn't him. I can, I can agree with that. Yeah, okay, then who? Tell me, why are we hesitant to say it? Who? I, I understand, like, but I... He said it's God. Do you believe him? I believe him, yeah. That's my point. And, and there is a lot in the Quran like this example. So now, after 1400 years, Darren will appreciate that the Quran came from God. Well, no, yes, it came from God. Because Muhammad said that. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَمَا يَنْتَقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْمِدْ He doesn't speak out of his desire. It's only revelation. It's only revelation. And the Quran, if it was created by him, why the Quran criticized him? The Quran criticized the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A blind man came to him and said to him, Oh, Muhammad, Oh, he, went, he came to him while he was angry because he was talking to leaders of Quraysh. And then he was angry and that Allah had said, he said, Abasa wa tawalla. Why do you show your upset when the blind man came to you? Quran, Allah has said in the Quran, Allah forgive you. Why did you allow them? So, Quran is criticizing him. Even the Quran saying to him, you have done this, you have done that. Yeah, criticizing certain things that he has done, and he doesn't make mistakes before revelation. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That shows this Quran didn't come from him, and he Quran claims and Quran says came from God, from the one God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And Quran says, Allah says as well in the Quran, telling us you, telling Darren, telling me, Muhammad, telling everyone, look into the universe, think about it, use your intellect. Understand this universe. Who created this heavens and earth except Allah? And Allah is saying to us, if there is two gods other than Allah, then each one will take what it belongs to him. And then they will fight, they will compete who's going to be ruling. All of these things to tell Darren, there cannot be more than one God. And this God has to be one and unique. And this God communicate to us through revelation to the prophets and messengers of God. Since Adam, and kill Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the last time Muhammad Now, does it make sense to you? Yeah, it does. And, 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 and don't get me wrong, I believe in, in like, no, God in, in one, like I said, every time science tries to disprove that we, you know, we weren't, we weren't, uh, you know, naturally, uh, you know, it, we didn't come to it, like, through, you know, like, a yeah. probability. Yeah. 
it, it just in, increases so, the chance, in, increases the, the the argument that we in, in the opposite case that yeah. is that there is some you know we weren't created out of chance. So that that kind of like says that you know for us to be here right now, there's some something more than chance is what I'm trying. Okay. To. So do you believe Muhammad is the messenger of God? No, that, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Every religion tries to say that. We're not talking about every religion. We're talking about the last and final religion. Because Allah has sent before Muhammad Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, peace be upon him, and he came with the true message from God. But people distort it, change it, it's not the same as it was. God sent Moses before them, and God sent many prophets and messengers before them. Yeah? Many prophets, and they came there for one message, not many religions, one message, and one religion, which is worship none but God, but the one God, the creator of the heaven and earth and follow the guidance of the prophets and messengers. That's their message, that's their way. So God clearly said this, stated this in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet So here, now Darren, the question is to you. We live once, yeah? So since we live once, we have to, we, we cannot just live our life just only, you know, for nothing. And since God has sent us guidance through this, these books, Especially the last and the final message of Muhammad with the guidance of the book in the Quran, which, which is true from God. Why Darren didn't accept to be on the stage? After he said, did it make sense? No, it makes sense, but like, like I said, you know, everything. So, for example, Islam was formed around the same time, or even earlier, Hinduism formed earlier, but it happened in two different parts of the you know, world, and they. So, who's right, who's wrong, how do you actually classify that? Check. But that Open your has mind. Equal amount of history, 2,000, 3,000 years. Open, history, more open, than 1500. open your book. Okay. Open them and check for yourself. Okay, you have to compare. Yeah. Why you don't you? I'm saying open your books and see. Open your books and see. If Hinduism was right, how I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on a Why there is many gods? It is their right. There's something wrong. Okay, if Christianity is right, why why God has to come to kill himself on the cross just to give me salvation when he could say to me, I forgive you. That's my salam. Yeah? If Judaism is right, why God why God the soul will favor only one nation and the other people of, of, of paradise, the other ones they don't they, they don't deserve. <laughs> this is the question which you need to ask yourself. Everyone claims something. But, but is the, is what they claim is right? This is the question. That's how is it the truth? So that's why we say that's why Darren, you're from India, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Darren Islam came to India and many Indians accepted Islam yeah, course, I know, because it made sense to them. Islam came to West, to East. Many people came from different backgrounds. That's why he's from Bangladesh, from Somalia, from yeah. Yemen, from huh? Morocco, from Morocco. Why do we have this brotherhood? Why? Why do you think? And how would this religion, great religion, Start with one man and his friends and his wife and his cousin became the, the, the most expanding religion in the, in the hearts of the people. Except there is a great one who is supporting it, aiding it throughout this time. And part of it, by the way, he told us, you remember the hadith, he said, you can, you'll see the Arabs. The one who's who's fat, who's, who's barefooted, the Arad, they, they don't have enough enough money to buy clothes. Yeah, they will compete each other with lofty buildings. The Sahaba they didn't see this, but they believe. Now we're seeing it. How is that? Don't you think he was saying the truth? I'm, I'm not debating that. I'm not doubting that. But what I'm trying to say is like, so for example, take leave Hinduism, right? Buddhism asks you to reflect on into yourself. Find out more about yourself. But first. Hinduism doesn't believe there is God. It's again another problem. No, I'm not talking about Hinduism now. Buddhism. Buddhism. They don't yeah. believe there is God. That's my point. Oh yeah, yeah. They don't believe. It's, 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 it asks you to look into but that's, yourself. But that's what you, against what you believe. You said there is God. They have to be creator. Yeah. So I hear that doesn't make sense to you now, to no. Darren. And it still makes sense to you, Darren. Why did you accept? Yes, yeah, you know, science has not answered all of the questions. Like, for example, where did life come from? Still, it's not answered. Right? You can't replicate life. Allah told us. 
I'm where life came from. Allah said, "It's all about the soul, the spirit. Where did the spirit come from?" He said, "This is from the commandments of God." And they will kill you. They will never know how the life starts. They will never know how the spirit. Now, when the spirit comes in your body, you are alive. When the spirit departs your body, you are dead. They cannot explain this because this is from the plan of God. He did. No one knows about it. No one can able to know about it. No one. Because this is the gift of God. That's how. Because He is the one who gives the soul. He is the one who gives the body. So is 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 that? If it is not written, does, does it mean that we are like, you know, again, we're going to deeper, a bit more deeper layer, like, like for example, if it's not written, does it mean that, you know, science will start re revealing certain bits later down? In Whatever, the until, line. until, I will tell you, there's a challenge, it's a challenge, they will never know how the spirit, how the soul came into the body, they will never know, by the way, they try one day to, to make a cell. They put here, this bit, this bit here, this bit here, this bit there, and this and that. But how this cell could be alive? Yeah, it's still a mystery there. <laughs> no one knows, except the creator. The most, you know, guess so far is that it came from out, out of space or so, you know, or from out of Earth. So that, again, is... I like, will tell you, you know, the Earth was burning. Question. Where did the alive come? <laughs> Can't be. So that's why God created it to be the way that it is. Why would, you said there is more proof that there is a God. That's, God why would, Every time you try to disprove that science, you know, that we came into existence because of science, it kind of like gives so God, you more proof that the opposite proof. Okay. So what does it make, what does it make to you to that? Darren, I will say to you, I don't want you to be Muslim today. No, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't either as well. I always kind of like... But I want you, know, you, I want you to, read, to learn, to learn, read, read the Qur'an, understand the Qur'an, say so what this Qur'an is talking about, why those Muslims they believe in. And I want you to, when you are reading the Qur'an, you are learning the Qur'an, I want you to have this open mind. If it makes sense to you, why I, why I don't follow it. Yeah, so, Darren's a good friend of mine, I brought him here first time. He's actually leaving to India. But I brought him, I said, make sure you come speak his corner before you go back. I've yeah. only been the, on the vice, you know, once I've been here, but only on the side. So, so. I've spoken to him a lot about Islam in the past uh, seven years. We yeah. have many discussions at lunch, but... Yeah. At least, the slowly, but what, I'm, what I want from you, if it makes sense, logically, by the way, what do you study, by the way? Uh, I'm yeah, uh, into uh, computer science, I <laughs> You know, you know, short circuit and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know that. Yeah. Now, if it's short and right, it goes. It's, it's the right thing. Even when you do programming. Well, one, one that's how it is. I wanted to say, Darren, if, 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 you, if, you, if you didn't have to pray and didn't have to fast, didn't have to give up alcohol and all of these other things, let's say Islam meant, didn't mean you had to do all those things. The salvation, the main thing in Islam is salvation, is to save yourself by submitting your will to the will of the Creator. Not necessarily and immediately you have to change, to start praying, to, but at least to know, to submit, to, to submit your will to the will of the Creator. Yeah? And, and learn more. Submit before it's too late. Submit, you don't know, you don't guarantee your life. Submit. Because since we live here, we're going to die. Since you have a beginning, you have an end. Since you're going to die, you have done something wrong, you have done something right. You might wrong people, you might did something right. Then, then it should be a reward or punishment. That means there is an afterlife. There is a resurrection, and then you're going to be resurrected before God. Then God will ask Darren, do you remember Darren in the park? You were speaking to such and such and such. Can you take the risk now? Yeah, yeah that's how it is. And then they told you to submit to me what you have done. No, no, I, I get, see, I believe in a lot of, I don't know, I mean, so for example, what you mentioned, like fasting, I, I would argue, argue, you know, I would argue for it more than anyone else because I, I, you know, Hinduism also has some bit of fasting, any religion again has some fasting in more. I know, I know, I know. But and fasting was what, taught for a We're not talking about the fasting. What would stop you from becoming a Muslim? Why would it, you know, it, it's, it's just again, again, they are. It's, it's just that you know that there's not enough. Uh, I, I personally believe that religion shouldn't be brought into, you know, uh, discuss. Sorry, about, no, no, it's all right. So, so it shouldn't 
divide people. That's what I'm trying to say. So, Listen, you know, the people are divided. It's, Listen, it's, whether you like, that's something you need to know. It's a reality. The life is like, the life is like this. The people are divided, whether you like it or you don't like it. The people are divided. But at least if they divide, they will divide in something good. They will divide in something which is salvation. That's it. They are divided. I love the jubba. I love the jubba. You love the jubba? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Which, which way would you take? Yeah. No, I'm, uh, that's what I'm trying to say, right? So you can. It's, it doesn't. You don't need to divide yourself from one, your family. You, you don't need to stick to one religion. You can pick and choose <laughs> all the good from all of them as you, well, right? You can. Wouldn't? Wouldn't you can. that work? You can. That's according to who? According to your according own to, Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why when we say it's not. That's why we say the people they don't have the same energy as you and someone energy as other as other people. So that's why we cannot pick and choose. So if there is something which is perfect by itself, <laughs> so why don't I follow it? No, trust me, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I have this discussion all the time and like, like. It's not about how much you have the discussion. It's about how much you follow the truth. This what matters. If you know it's the truth. You say you are, you are a scientist person, you're someone who came from computer background, you know. If you are, I know what I want to do, for example, when you do a program, if, if it crash in the middle, you don't continue on this crash. You just go, oh, you know what, you could do something. You go back from where it crashed and then you rectify it and then to continue in the right thing, isn't it? Yeah. So the same thing, this is the logical way. So if you are in, an, in any faith or something, the same thing, if, if, if there is something wrong there, it doesn't mean I'll continue to another, or let me keep like this and then I will do something else on the side. No, please go back, wipe the wrong thing and start from the from where, where you are right. You know there's a creator, the one God, okay, good. What makes sense? Does it make sense? Yes, right. Now here, let's discuss the Quran, discuss other 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 faiths. If religion makes sense to me, then okay, that's right, then I have to accept it. Simple as that. It is like that. I appreciate, you know, it's difficult for you from Hindu background and all these things. But you know, it's your after, it's your hereafter. No, 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 I agree that. But like, okay, on a separate note, right? You mentioned, you know, read about it, but you also mentioned in that, like, you need to do certain bits, like, you know, in order to read it the proper way, you need to, you know, follow some certain uh, guidelines to, to read it the proper way. Yeah. So if it is, if you're following, like, for example, I want to know more about it, I just want to read it uh, like an English translation of the Quran or whatever. Start with so this. How, so, wouldn't that be a contradiction? No, what start with this. This is as a start. But if you want to follow Islam, you don't ignore the hadith, the saying of the Prophet Because how you pray? You don't need, de you don't need details. You don't need, you, you don't need to go all the way to the detail right now. Yeah. Yeah. The overview. The beginning now is this, is the salvation. But after that, you learn more, you do more, you practice more. And you, that's how it is. And with the time. It's not, it's, the journey of learning Islam is not one day, it's not one day thing. It's a life. Until now I'm learning and I will be learning. People, scholars, they spend all their life and died learning. So it doesn't mean it's finished. It means you just continue learning. But it means you do the minimum on yourself now. Yeah? You need to do, yeah, you need to do the minimum on you, which is submit to the Creator. Follow the, creator. Follow the guidance of the Creator. Simple as that. Guys. Yeah. yeah. Will you think about it? No, I'll definitely, I'll definitely have a think. <laughs> All right. No, man. Nice talking Thank to you. you. Nice talking. All right. All right. Look after yourself. Yes, yes. Can you get him a translated copy of the Quran or something? Yeah. All right. Masoor. Yeah. Masoor. 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 Masoor.